Today we're going to look at this question. We're going to look at the formation of aspirin. The formation of aspirin is created by the reaction between salicylic acid and acetic anhydride. Acetyl salicylic acid is actually called aspirin. And we get a byproduct of acetic acid. The following questions are pre-lab questions. And we just need to get some background information before we actually do the lab. And then we're going to be answering some questions after the lab. So to kick things off, let's look at question number one. What are the molar masses of acetic anhydride and salicylic acid and acetyl salicylic acid, aspirin? For the sake of time, I just went ahead and looked these up. It's really easy. You just type in the name of the compound you're looking for, the molar mass, and Google will spit it right back out. So for acetic anhydride, the molar mass is 102.09 grams per mole. And for salicylic acid, the molar mass is 138.121 grams per mole. And for acetyl salicylic acid, aspirin, the molar mass is 180.158 grams per mole. Okay, so I just, you know, just quickly look these up. But what you also can do is you can calculate this yourself. All you need to do is use the AMUs from the periodic table and just pretty much add up each atom and you'll get your molar mass that way. So for question number two, what is the theoretical yield of aspirin if 7.10 grams of salicylic acid completely reacts? So theoretical yield is when a reaction happens perfectly. There's no error. There's no extra byproduct. There's, there's just no waste. So what we want to do is we want to look at this 7.10 one zero grams of salicylic acid and how the question is worded we can kind of tell that salicylic acid is going to be our limiting reagent to find the theoretical yield of aspirin this is what we need to do so 7.10 grams of salicylic acid i'm just going to abbreviate it we need to go from grams to moles of salicylic acid. So for every 138.121 grams of salicylic acid, you get one mole of salicylic acid. Okay, so now we're in moles of salicylic acid. And another thing that's important about this reaction is knowing this is a one to one reaction everything is one to one so for every one mole of salicylic acid there is one mole of aspirin for every one mole of acetic anhydride used there is one mole of aspirin so that makes life a little bit easier so what we can do is we have for every one mole of salicylic acid we are going to get one mole of aspirin okay and now we're in moles of aspirin we need to go from moles of aspirin to grams and so for every one mole of aspirin we get 180.158 grams of aspirin so at this point, all we're going to do is cancel our units. So grams of salicylic acid, moles of salicylic acid, and then moles of aspirin, and we're left in grams of aspirin. And then we're going to multiply across the numerator and the denominator and then divide. So that's going to equal 7.10 times 180.158 grams divided by 138.121 okay and that ends up equaling 9.26 grams of aspirin and that would be a perfect reaction if we used 7.10 grams of salicylic acid okay so 
0.26 grams of aspirin. All right, let's look at the last question. Use the theoretical yield calculated above to determine the percent yield for the reaction if only 4.95 grams of aspirin is actually produced. All right, so what we need to know is the equation for percent yield of a reaction. And what that is, is pretty much a ratio between actual yield and theoretical yield. And then you multiply it by 100, and that gives you your percent yield. Okay, so we already calculated the theoretical yield, and they're giving us the actual yield, which is 4.95 grams. Now we're going to divide it by our theoretical yield of 9.26 grams. Multiply that by 100, and we get 53.45 percent okay that's how you do those questions if you have any other questions email me thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next video